Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Hello everybody, it is Flippin' Friday. My name is Heather. If you are a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for checking me out. I am a full-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real. Facebook Marketplace, all kinds of places. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I love Disney. So we are gonna get into the sales this week. I feel like they were a little slow. Sometimes I say that and I start actually looking through on my computer and realize actually they're not that bad at all. So we will see. I feel like there was times of ups and downs and also I was still slightly busy. Um, I finished up with my fundraiser, but I'm constantly trying to do products around the house to get it ready to sell sometime in the future. So of course that keeps me busy and I kind of like cleaned up my little work area yesterday, which felt good, but kind of took some time. I also got a new computer. So I'm super excited about that. My old one was just like complete crap. What I'm hoping is with this new one now, because I had a really old MacBook and then I had a Chromebook, but I wasn't able to um, drop things from my phone like iCloud or whatever. And edit videos and stuff on a computer. So I'm hoping since I have a new one now, that'll all work out. And I don't have to do everything on my phone because that's kind of a pain. So we'll see after I film this video, what is going on. So let's just start with Mercari. I'm still trying to like get used to this computer. Okay, the first thing I sold were these pair of Bionic Haze Elevated Taupe Wedge Shoes. These sold for $24 and I do do free shipping. I do do. I do free shipping on Mercari and eBay. I don't on Marketplace yet, but I thought about possibly trying that. Um, just, I feel like people like free shipping. Um, the next thing I sold was this Pottery Barn Organic Mermaid Duvet Cover. This came from a big, um, not really sale, but I was at a thrift store and they had tons of Pottery Barn stuff. I waited until all of it went down to the 98 cent sale tag and I bought all of it. And this one sold for 60 if I did not say that yet. Okay, next was a Catherine's Black Floral Plunge Bra. It was in a size 50 double D. So I really like picking up plus size bras. I don't really find Catherine's much, but I do find Cacique a lot. This one sold for my full asking price of $30. So that was great. Next, I sold these Finn Comfort Black Leather Shoes. These I actually have had for a really long time. For a while, I tried to sell them myself. Couldn't sell them. Sent them to thread up. They were on there for the whole time. They got down so low didn't sell there, brought them back to me. I listed them for 60 and this time they sold for 49. So I guess it was good that I ended up just relisting on my own. Next was a pair of Under Armour Red Lynx printed shorts. These were like a golf shorts for women and they were in a size 14 and they sold quickly for $23. I also sold these Fabletics High Rise Ruched Black Leggings. These typically go for me pretty quickly and they sold for $24. Next was a pair of men's shoes. So I actually went, I've been going through a lot of my sections of my work areas and cleaning and organizing. And I had quite a few pair of men's shoes that were just not listed anywhere. I don't know if originally I had them on auction or what was going on, but I listed them all pretty low just to try to move them quickly. And I did sell a couple pair right away. So the first ones were these pairs, Brooks Glycerin 16 black running shoes, and they sold for $27. I also sold this pair of Izod Green Chino shorts. These came for me in a men's thread up rescue box. I only listed them for 15 because honestly, they're not worth that much. Someone offered me 12, so I went ahead and took that. And then I also sold these Eileen Fisher gray stretchy pull-on career pants. These sold very quickly within a few hours for $27. And the last thing I sold on Mercari was this brand Olukai Ohana black flip-flop sandals. These have been doing so great for me lately. They've been selling fast and they sold for $35 within less than an hour. So that's my Mercari sales. I feel like was okay. Um, marketplace, I only sold two things. Um, the first pair is a pair of Allen Edmonds brown leather Oxford shoes. They only sold for 15 plus shipping. This was a pair that I listed low to move them. They also kind of weren't in the best condition. I try to make sure um, now when I'm picking up this brand that they're maybe of a more current style or just like really good condition. And then I also sold last night these Vans Flamingo low top sneakers and these sold for $24 plus shipping. So let's look at eBay. 
eBay was slower than usual for me, um, but I feel like the last couple days I started listing 15 items a day instead of 10, and that did seem to be helping my sales, so I guess I better stick with that. Um, the first thing I sold was this Dooney & Burke Orange Pebble Leather Designer Handbag, and this sold for $50. That came to me in a thread up name brand handbag box, which I really like those. And then I sold this Harley Davidson Ombre plaid checkered long sleeve shirt. This only sold for 14, but when I got it home, there was like two huge holes in the front and I don't even know how I didn't see those. It must've just been like a fast pickup at the thrift store, but I still sold it for $14, around $4 shipping. I mean, I made my money back in a couple bucks. So I list flawed items all the time. I'd rather do that than just donate them back and lose money. Um, next was an Eileen Fisher orange short sleeve casual top in a size 2X and that sold for $25. And then I sold this Kate Spade, the last straw beach tote. This came to me in a thread up name brand hand rescue bags. Did I say that right? Thread up name brand handbag rescue box. Anyway, it was really dirty. Um, I honestly have been really lazy lately and I have not been wanting to put in work into cleaning stuff. So I sold it as is and it sold for $25. <laughs> Next is a pair of Soul Society heels. They were kind of like a boot. They were in a dusty rose. They were size nine and a half. I've had them for a super long time. Someone offered me $18 and so I went ahead and took that. The next thing was an Athleta Gray seamless mid-rise full length leggings in a size extra small. I could not find the style number or the name. I think it was just cut out and they still sold for $25. And then I sold this Adidas Stella McCartney Sport Hawaii Tank. It was in a size large and it sold for $20. I sold this lot of two men's Adidas blue socks. These came to me in a men's throw up rescue box and I sold both of them together for $20. This next item was a Ming Wang open cardigan sweater jacket. It was kind of like a chevron print in a size extra large and that also sold for $20. So some of these offers are a little bit lower than what I would take, but when sales are really slow, I take almost everything. Next was a free people tank top. It was a blue ruffle casual top. I don't know why I picked this up because it wasn't anything that great and it sold for $13. And then this was an item I actually forgot I had. It was this vintage RJ and Co green velvet dress. I kind of had it listed as Christmas. Maybe I bought it in the fall. I think that's when I was trying a little bit out with vintage items and I wasn't doing very good, but it sold for my full asking price of $40 and 88 cents. So that was a nice surprise. I sold this Ariat top, which I've had forever. It was a black long sleeve, like sequin top. I feel like their boots do a lot better. And that's kind of what I focus on getting with this brand. It finally sold for $15, so goodbye. Next was an IRO jeans. Um, it was called the Nuwala, Nuwala Ivory Sleeveless Distressed Sweater, and it sold for $28. I sold this new Lululemon on the fly skirt. This was in a size 10, and I actually bought this off their website for 20 bucks. I think one day I was just looking around for retail arbitrage type of stuff, and I thought I would try it. So I about doubled my money after shipping, which is pretty good for me for retail arbitrage. And then I sold this Lane Bryant tan three quarter sleeve blazer. This I have also had forever. It's not really a cute style. I don't know why I got it. And it sold for $18. And then there's a couple more that sold last night or yesterday that I haven't shipped yet. So the first one was a coach Chelsea multicolor designer purse. This came to me in a coach thread up rescue box and that sold for my full asking price of $40.88. And then the next thing was a new Armani Exchange men's gray short sleeve polo. This came to me on a men's thread up rescue box and this sold for $20. So that was my eBay, not a ton, I feel like. Uh, Poshmark was okay, so let's go ahead and go through there. This is my last one. Um, the first thing I sold was this Anthropology Akimi and Kin Gardenia button tank top in a size large for $18. I sold this Disney World blue Mickey Mouse plaid button up. I had to get it. I'm really drawn to everything Disney, obviously, but I try to make sure it's not just the cheap stuff from Kohl's, Target, Walmart, and things like that. This one I liked because it was men's. It was 3XL and it seemed like it was in new condition. It just had a little Mickey Mouse logo on the chest and that sold for $25, which was my full asking price. Next was a pair of Merrill purple granite mid waterproof hiking boots and these sold very quickly within a few minutes for $45. I had them listed at 50 and someone offered me 45. So always love a good offer like that. 
Here's another item from a thread up name brand rescue box. This was the Tory Burch patent wristlet. If you saw in one of my videos, you can go back and check out. I do have a playlist of all of my thread up rescue unboxings and it sold for $40. Again, this was an item I didn't put any work into. I didn't bother trying to get that color transfer off and it sold super quick. So I'm happy with that. Next was a pair of Tom's Blue Sienna iCat Strappy Wedge Shoes. These came to me in a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box, which I have not got recently. I really want to, but I don't have much room for shoes. Any, excuse me, any extra. You can see back there that some of them are like stacked. <laughs> so anyway, they sold for $15. I sold these Adidas Believe This Elastic Wrap Leggings. These sold for $30, my full asking price within minutes. Um, I don't pick up hardly any Adidas leggings, but these I could tell were high rise. They felt like a thicker, more quality material. They had a zipper ankle on the bottom. And so, yeah, I'm glad I picked those up. I sold these vintage Levi's 505 denim mom shorts. These sold very quickly for $20. Here's another flawed item. It was a Lane Bryant and Girls with Curves collab. It was a floral tunic. I think what the problem was is the back, there was like a couple little, um, not hook and eye, but like a button with a little elastic loop and one of them was broke. So I did put that in the listing and it still sold for $15. I sold this Polo Ralph Lauren yellow solid shirt. This was an immense thread up rescue box and that sold for $17. Next was a brand Suzanne Ray, which I haven't um, picked up before. It was a midi black skirt and it kind of sat for a while, but it eventually sold for $41. And then I sold this new Lily Pulitzer Florin three-quarter sleeve v-neck blouse. This was a retail arbitrage item from TJ Maxx. I had this for kind of a while and it only sold for $34. For me, the best things that do for Lily Pulitzer, the best things that sell for Lily Pulitzer are the dresses. So that's kind of what I'm looking for and I wouldn't really want to pay up too much for anything else. Next was a Peter Millar blue short sleeve golf polo. This sold for $15. This is another pair of shoes that came to me in a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. It was the brand OTBT and it was the Rexburg Leather Wedge Sandals in a size seven and a half and they sold for $35. The Soft Surroundings Top sold very quickly for me. It wasn't a size extra large. It was called the Wild Side Long Sleeve Top. It was kind of like a mixed media kind of look and that sold for me for $28. And then I had this bundle that sold for $125. So that was great. The first thing in the bundle was an Athleta Maroon High Trails Cow Neck Striped Top. And then there was a Patagonia Striped Capoline Polar Tech Base Layer. New Pink Victoria Secret Ombre Sports Bra. Athleta White Varsity Side Zip Crew Neck Sweater. Anthropology Ghani Chevron Pullover Sweater. And a Salomon Windchill Blue Zip Up Outdoor Jacket. Those all sold for $125. That was an offer that I sent to her and she accepted it. So I was super happy about that. That definitely made up like for that day, like not making too much. Um, next was an Anthropology Arian Alley black swing top. This sold for $21. I sold these new Zara relaxed rolled up denim jeans in a size six and they sold for $28. Next item was a cabbie gray herringbone quilted moto jacket. This was in a size extra large and it sold for $35. This purse was from a Thread Up rescue box. It was the name brand handbags. It was the Michael Kors Gladstone leather crossbody bag and it sold for $60. And then I sold this Kalia Carrie Underwood pink cowl wrap sweater. Um, this brand doesn't do super great for me, but this was in a size extra large and it was super cute and like new condition. So that one sold for $25. And then I sold this Santorelli men's pink houndstooth dress shirt for $17. The next was something from a men's thread up rescue box. It was the Banana Republic Camden Fit Linen Floral Shirt. That sold for $15. And then the last thing I sold on Poshmark actually came through last night and I'm just now seeing it. It's a Pottery Barn Organic Rowan Crib Skirt and this sold for $60. So that's great. I'm looking at my Pottery Barn stuff, which what I have left is there under my rack. I'm like, please don't say I sold that another site and forgot to delete it. But I think it's over there. I think I see it in the bottom. So anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I guess it did look like it's a shorter video because obviously I had less sales, but that happens. Sometimes you make really good money. Sometimes you don't, but keep being consistent. That's definitely what helps me. And like I said, for some reason for me, listing 15 items rather than 10 items seem to be producing more sales. Let me know for you guys, if things are slow, what you do and what kind of tricks work for you to make more sales. Please hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe with the bell next to it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.